Well, GM says they're going to be able to place uh, about 2,700 of the workers that uh, they said would be laid off. Uh, they made an announcement in November that they were going to close four plants in 2019. Uh, but they're saying that most of those workers will be able to find jobs at other GM plants. Now, they'll have to relocate. Some of them will have to pick up and move. Others might have long commutes. There were five plants. One of them was in Oshawa, Ontario, and uh, the other four were in the United States. Lordstown, Ohio, Detroit, Hamtramck, uh, Warren Transmission, and a transmission plant, a small one outside of Baltimore. Those workers, um, depending on their seniority, will be able to go to one of really eight different locations. The one with the most jobs is, is in Flint, Michigan, where they build the heavy-duty pickup trucks. Uh, it also could be Arlington, Texas, Spring Hill, Tennessee, and some other plants, Toledo Transmission as well. There's been a firestorm of criticism. The company's been hammered by President Donald Trump, by legislators from the uh, states that the plants are located in, and also by the United Auto Workers Union. So GM says it wasn't responding to those complaints, uh, but it didn't announce initially that it had 2,700 jobs available. GM was making these moves because people are buying SUVs and trucks, and they're not buying cars very much, and plants like Detroit Hamtramck make cars, the Chevrolet Volt, the Buick La Crosse, and all also the Chevrolet Impala are made there. Those cars aren't selling very well, so GM doesn't need as many car plants. That's why they want to close these. Uh, at the same time, truck demand is, is either up, uh, growing, and, and they want to be able to make more trucks, so that's why they need to transfer these workers to other plants.